That feeling, it's all too familiar, isn't it? The hype, the excitement, the anticipation, the disappointment, the letdown, the questioning of why I'm even excited to begin with. Sony and Marvel finally threw out the red carpet tonight for Spider-Man No Way Home's final trailer. They had a big reveal event for fans where they even got to do a meet and greet with Tom Holland. And the rest of us sheep got to watch it on YouTube at 7.30 on the dot. Imagine gathering everyone all at the same place at the same time to collectively disappoint them. Instead of just silently throwing it out there on YouTube and letting the disappointment kind of fester for days and weeks at a time. Hi, I'm Adam, and this is a reaction video where I'm actually reacting to what I saw and talking about it, instead of, you know, hamming it up by pretending I'm really focused on the trailer that I've already probably watched two or three times, and giving really obnoxious facial expressions and reactions to every single tiny little thing that plays out. Let's just talk like adults, or older children, about what we saw. If you are here to see some god-awful reacting, here are a couple seconds to tide you over, and then we'll get into some real stuff. What's up guys, it's your boy A Double here reacting to another Spider-Man trail. This is the final one before the movie hits. It was a big deal. Sony really pushed this on Twitter. I'm excited, I can't wait. It's gonna be a star-studded event too. I hear that Andrew Garfield's in town, he's in LA, Tobey Maguire, basically all the villains. I can't wait to share the news as it unfolds. Let's check out this trailer though. Oh, what? What? Oh my God, wow! They did! They got him! Oh! What? Sandman's in this? Yes! Is that Green Goblin? I'm so glad they got Jimmy Fox back. He needed that. He needed that after Amazing Spider-Man 2. Whoa! Is that the scaffolding from those leaked photos by John Campia? Critical review darling online YouTube sensation John Campia? Man, he cracked this one wide open. This goddamn event. <laughs> what was? What were they thinking here? How do you even keep the expectations in check? Everyone on planet Earth, at a bare minimum, know that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in this damn movie. And if they are for some reason, some small chance not? I, I mean, Sony and Marvel couldn't drop the ball any harder if they tried at this point. I, I was convinced that they went back after the hype a year ago and did some reshoots and restructuring to get these other guys in it. I don't think we see more than 10 minutes of Toby and Andrew in this film. And that's a damn shame. So they're not in the trailer, obviously, but their villains are. We got Sandman, we got Dr. Octavius, we have the Green Goblin, we got Electro. A whole bunch of sinister villains are in this thing. And by the time the trailer starts to wind down, it looks like they're fighting other characters that have been digitally removed or are off camera. You just look at the placement of some of these guys and they're jumping in directions that aren't even close to where our web slinger is. That's just my two cents. Not having Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in this trailer, whatever, fine. I was kind of 50-50 on whether they'd be in it or not. The trailer itself just was not good. It felt like they threw it together last minute for this event. They just scrambled to grab random sequences and toss them in. The tone is inconsistent as all hell. It feels very kiddish. There's a Scooby-Doo joke that's repeated for some reason. Well, it's not even funny. Why are you using this in your trailer? That's concerning. That's a bit concerning. We get no further details on the story of this movie other than Doctor Strange and Peter apparently do some spell together. Someone screws it up, sounds like it was Peter's fault, and things go awry. The multiverse is happening, the dimensional rifts or whatever are opening up, bad guys and good guys are possibly spilling in, and Doctor Strange is having a hard time fixing it so he needs Spider-Man and his pals to stop it. We already knew that from the last trailer, so what does this one provide if it's not more story insight? Not much. A lot of CG. Some of it looks unfinished, honestly. It looks pretty rough. That fight on the bridge, for instance, the choreography is miserable, it's very choppy. It really looks like they're cutting around a lot of things that they're trying to keep secretive. It just doesn't make for a compelling trailer. It doesn't mean the movie's gonna be bad, it could be great. What I did see, not very compelling, not very engaging stuff. We're doing scaffolding still? Is that the best we can come up with, a scaffolding fight? Are we not done with this yet? I just watched that in Red Notice, and then only a couple months earlier in Shang-Chi. Do you not have another type of situation you can get these guys in for a fight? I'm sure there are people that watch this trailer and are genuinely wowed by what they saw, and I don't want to take that from you. This is just my thoughts. There's also a lot of people that are going to pretend that they're very excited and they don't really care. 
I do care. I want a good movie. That's why I'm being honest about it, and that's why I always am honest on this channel. Subscribe for honesty. The first impression of the Spider-Man trailer I had with my son collectively, he's nine, he's all in on Spider-Man, likes them all, was a rousing... Okay... I guess... They're saving it all for the movie, hopefully. I watched it a second time right before hitting record on the camera and I was even less impressed. This is Spider-Man. This is the third entry to a third set of live action Spider-Man films. You have to be on your A game. People love this character. They love this property. It's part of the MCU. It's owned by Disney. You have all the money, all the talent, all the resources at your disposal to make something kick ass. And this is the best you come up with for a final trailer. No, hard no. I don't, I don't, I don't think this is the best you can do. I don't buy it. Here's really what's troubling me. If you have Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire in this with Tom Holland, why are you keeping them a secret? Unless they're not a very major part of this film, which I'm once again saying they're not. These guys should be celebrated and given the red carpet treatment like the Force Awakens cast was when that came out. Love or hate Force Awakens, they went all in on nostalgia and they should absolutely be doing that again. People love Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. There's a lot of people that love Andrew Garfield's. I think the guy's pleasant as all punch. I'd love to see them suiting up with Tom Holland, hand in hand in hand, web and web and web, walking down that runway, greeting fans, smiles on the face, super excited to tell you how monumentally epic this film is. Yeah, this is a joint universe. We're all in it together. It's gonna be so amazing. You aren't gonna believe what you see. They're not doing that because that's not this film. I truly don't think it's gonna be that good. And that sucks. Because also like Star Wars, where they get it wrong, is they don't utilize these amazing nostalgic actors. You're Marvel, you're Disney. And the only thing that's probably holding them back is bullshit contract negotiations with Sony because it's shared. They share different parts of Spider-Man's universe. It's messy. It's stuff moviegoers shouldn't have to worry about, but we do. Final thoughts on the trailer. MJ falls at the end in slow motion. Wow. It's amazing Spider-Man 2 all over again, isn't it? How, how profound. Spoiler. Andrew Garfield's gonna save her. 100%. You can come back after the movie comes out, tell me I'm wrong. I'll gladly eat my own words. I have a I have a plate and a fork around here somewhere I can use. But until that time, let me know your thoughts on Spider-Man No Way Home and what you had to say about it. Were you blown away by this like you should be for a third and final-ish Spider-Man entry? I don't know. Is he doing more? I, I, I really don't know. Or were you underwhelmed and honestly a bit perturbed by the whole thing? There's going to be a lot of these reaction videos out. I don't know how badly I'll get buried. There's probably 563,000 of them already on the internet before I even get this edited because people are quick to the trigger and apparently have nothing better to do with their lives. So if you made it this far, maybe think about subscribing as well. And maybe we can get some of those obnoxious over-the-top reactors off of the front page and more honest people like myself there instead. Oh, well, here's to hoping. Take care. Oh my god, MJ, shut up. You are... You're disrespecting Doctor Strange? Woke? This movie's woke. I'm out. Holy woke. Wow. Go broke, Sony. Go broke, Marvel. Woke.